The Build Back Better agenda is the most progressive modern agenda of all time, up to $5 trillion, and it's not polling well. Oh man, are you kidding me? Look, I'm not quite sure what planet Megan is living on, but right here on planet Earth, the overwhelming majority of the American people, including independent centrists, support the three and a half trillion dollar American Families Plan. And here are the receipts. According to an August 2nd Quinnipiac poll, they asked the American people, do you support or oppose a three and a half trillion dollar spending bill on social programs such as childcare, education, family tax breaks, and expanding Medicare for seniors. And guess what, Megan? 62% of the American people said they support this bill, while only 32% said that they opposed it. It's not polling well. Don't like that poll? On July 26th, a Monmouth poll found that 63% of the American people support the $3.5 trillion reconciliation bill to quote, expand access to health care and child care, provide paid family and medical leave, and make community colleges tuition free. Don't like that one? Well, how about Navigator Research? It asked the American people on September 21st, quote, President Biden and Democrats have proposed new legislation to provide paid family and medical leave, establish a universal pre-K program, expand Medicare coverage for seniors to include dental, vision, and hearing coverage, lower health care costs by allowing Medicare to negotiate lower drug prices, provide tax breaks for clean energy, and expand the child tax credit. Do you support or oppose the legislation? Guess what? 66% of the American people said that they supported this bill, including 93% of Democrats, 61% of independents, and 39% of Republicans. It's not polling well. Don't like that one? Well, let's take a look at Fox News. On August 12th, Fox News asked the American people, do you favor or oppose the additional infrastructure items being considered by the U.S. House that would allocate three and a half trillion dollars and include spending to address climate change, health care, and child care? And guess what? 56% of the American people said that they favor that plan, including 88% of Democrats, 60% of independents, and 30% of Republicans. What about the individual components of our three and a half trillion dollar reconciliation bill? Well, according to Morning Consult, 84% of the American people want to expand Medicare so that every senior in America receives dental, vision, and hearing benefits. 81% of the American people want Medicare to negotiate with the pharmaceutical industry to lower the outrageous price of prescription drugs. Is that polling? Let's be clear. When 84% of the American people want to expand Medicare, to cover dental, vision, and hearing, and 81% of the American people want Medicare to negotiate for lower drug prices. Opposing these policies doesn't make you a moderate. It doesn't make you a centrist. It makes you an extremist who is way, way out of touch with the American people. So Megan, here's the deal. You are entitled to your own opinion, but you know what? you are not entitled to your own facts. And no, this message will not be interrupted by your corporate sponsors.